guys and welcome to my Cappadocia vlog. So flying into Cappadocia from Antalya meant taking a via flight from Istanbul. There aren't many direct flights. You can drive in but it's a really really long hour drive. It takes the similar number of hours and the costing also works out to the same thing. So Jerry and I chose to fly in. We flew in with Pegasus Airlines and uh, about an hour and a half of a drive from the Cappadocia airport we reached this area called Goremi. Goremi is a very tourist led area. Lots of hotels. This is where all your tourist based experiences happen from your red zone tour, your green zone tour, your hot air balloons, everything happens from there. We checked into Rocks Goreme, which is the name of our hotel. Now in Cappadocia, cave rooms and cave hotels are really, really big. So you'd rather get the local, really nice experience where they've actually carved into mountains and caves to make these hotels rather than stay in the regular kind of hotels. So we decided to stay at Rocks. Our room is really nice and cozy, there's no wardrobe but it's still really nice and spacious from a point of view that the ceilings are really really high, the bathroom is nice and spacious, we have a lovely double bed, we have a TV, we have two windows that overlook the entire Goremi area, all of which is just really really beautiful. The space is a really like different era kind of a charm. As soon as we were done checking in and leaving our things in the room, we decided to leave and go explore the area. We've just left our hotel room. We are going to meet Mehmet to give you a little backstory. Mehmet is a local travel agent who has actually helped us sort a lot of airport transfers while, we're, while we were in Turkey. Um, you guys met Eat in uh, Izmir in Kusa Dasi. We were introduced to him also uh, by Mehmet. I will go ahead and add his phone number down below in the info box. He is really resourceful and huge shout out to Fezan actually who introduced us to him. Fezan is a friend of mine uh, from Delhi who is also a content creator who came to Turkey with his wife some time ago. He met Mehmet and then put me on to Mehmet and uh, we've been talking for a while because he has helped us plan a few things but we're about to meet him for the first time so maybe we'll go have dinner with him. If you look around you'll see that the architecture of Cappadocia of Juri Gorim, I think they pronounce it as Gorim, as, as Goreme actually, I think I heard Mehmet say on the phone, um, Goreme, it's very cavey, it's very, it's very old world, you'll feel like you're in some other era altogether and uh, it's beautifully maintained, it is so beautifully maintained and even though it looks all rustic, it's actually very, very well equipped. I think we're close to where he is right now. We should quickly map it because we have his live location and meet him like ASAP. We're recording right now. Everybody say hi to... Wait, where's my gimbal going? Hello, it's Mehmet. Uh... I just told them about you. Okay. I told them about how Faizan introduced us. Uh, Faizan is my close friend. Uh, Anam uh, also will be my close friend as well. We will be great friends. For future. And then you'll come to India and visit us. Uh, for sure, if I see my, if I meet uh, with my future wife, I will definitely <laughs> visit you. What does your future wife have to do with India? Uh, you want to get her to India? Yeah, for sure. I will come with. We'll her. find you an Indian future wife. No, I will. I don't know where. Okay. Uh, Anybody who wants to. I will meet with her and will come. We're putting Mehmet on the bachelor, <laughs> the bachelor over here. The future wife candidates, please apply. We're walking through this area called. You pronounce it as Goreme, right? Goreme, yeah. Goreme. And we're about to go have dinner. Oh, well, dinner. Okay. I'm okay with any place. Okay. We're going into this restaurant called Cappadocia Pine. Good evening. Hello. 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 you speak Hindi? Yeah, he said, Kaise hai aap log? <laughs> That's so nice. What about inside or outside? Inside, please. Right. Not used to the cold yet. Yeah, my hands are all numb from the cold, guys. Yes. So, this is what Jerry has ordered. Oh, wow. It's beef, right? Yes. It's so nice. And. That's pizza, which is a local Turkish pizza form that you guys saw me have in Kusadasi. And I'm having their own variation of pizza here. Day 2 in Cappadocia. It's around 6 in the morning and we just saw the most beautiful thing. I'm gonna show you what it is in just a second. Oh my god, this has to be the most beautiful morning of my life. 
Look at the number of hot air balloons everywhere. This looks beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, so we totally geeked out when we saw those hot air balloons. I was in like a night suit state, literally, and uh, I didn't care because it was just all so beautiful. We've just gotten dressed up. We're going down for Nashta, and uh, then we're gonna head out for the day. So we are at stop number two and here in uh, Cappadocia there is an underground city. This was built back like way back thousands and thousands of years ago where about 5,000 people used to live here officially. We don't know how many actually did. Um, you can only actually visit up to 5% of the space that is actually there because this is like um, I think he said about a hundred to a thousand meters underground. I don't know which parts of it we're going to get to see, but we're about to find out, I guess. So I'm pretty kicked about this because an underground city sounds super exciting. Um, we're just waiting for a couple of people and then we will head. We're at the Ilhara Valley right now, which is supposed to be really, really beautiful. This is a one hour drive from the underground city. But I was in the car. So, drive I saw it was really nice and beautiful. But uh, first glimpses of the space behind me, and it looks pretty stunning. Let's go explore it. So this valley has about 20 to 25 stops that you'll see on the map that are sort of like stop and see kind of places um, but we're not stopping at everything because most of them five six seven of them are churches and they all come with a similar kind of a history so our guide has recommended that we could just see one church we saw one church that I shared with you guys it's mostly about literally getting through nature look behind me I'm like in the heart of it beautiful beautiful sunlight no filters a lot of greenery and a little warm sun but it's really cold by the way it's like three degrees or something it's pretty cold so make sure you're well covered in thermals when you're here in Cappadocia I'm wearing thermals inside my top as well as inside my denims and so is my main guy here so make sure you are well covered in thermals and just walk around enjoy the nature this valley is really stunning What song were we just singing, Boo? Yes, Vadiya. Sing it with me, sing it with me. You're getting shy now because the vlogging camera is on, otherwise you have such a nice voice. So we just walked in through this tunnel over here. I don't know how I'm gonna hold the camera and keep walking you guys because it's all very steep. As you can see, the view is surreal from like everywhere and every corner. We 
are inside the kitchen now. And it's the end of day two in Cappadocia. We're really excited for tomorrow. You can only guess what we're about to do. Um, I'm gonna be calling it a super early night. So is G. It's literally like 10 p.m. G, say hi. But we need oh. to be up at like five in the morning. So we're gonna go to sleep. I need to take my makeup off. We've already had our dinner. Yeah, time to sleep now. See you guys in the morning. Very excited for that. Morning you guys, it's day 3 in Cappadocia. I know you can barely see me. That's because it is exactly 6 a.m. And we're about to go do one of the most exciting things ever. Cannot wait for this one. Okay, stay tuned. Because the excitement bubbles in me are taking over. Okay, so we are back in the hotel room and I could not talk through that hot air balloon experience. I don't think we've ever done something this magical. Um, it was beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I, uh, <laughs> of all the things we've done on this Turkey trip, I think that if you come to Cappadocia especially, please make sure you do the hot air balloon ride. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of a detail, um, the Cappadocia hot air balloon rides are private, like they, they, they have like private hot air balloon companies that operate them and you will find travel agencies everywhere. Like, um, so in Cappadocia, the most tourist led place, which is where we're staying is Goreme. And uh, you'll see like way too many travel agencies over here who will happily go ahead and um, take your booking one of the conundrums we faced before coming here was should we book it before coming to Cappadocia or come to Cappadocia and book it so I'm going to give you guys a couple of tips around this um, one is make sure that you're in Cappadocia for at least two days the reason is that just in case the weather goes bad one day they shuffle you to the next day just in case, just for backup, tends to happen basis on the wind and everything, right? Secondly, I would say don't make your booking from India because bookings from wherever in the world you are compared to coming here and doing it will be much, much more expensive because then there are so many more agents in the process and we face this firsthand because the rates we were getting in India were much higher than what we paid here. Again, to give you a little pricing detailing, um, in case you're interested in this, they start at about 160 euros, which is probably the cheapest um, hot air balloons, 140, 160 if you're lucky. Otherwise, like for example, um, when the demand is really high, when they have a lot of tourists, it even goes up to 200 to 250 euros. So do the calculation basis the currency exchange and see what you can. I'm going to go ahead and put Mehmet's number down below in the info box. Mehmet is a local tour guide 
guide who works with an agency that we did our hotel balloon booking with and he was just such a great guide as well um yesterday when we went through the green tour we went with him so we got to see him in action during the during you know taking us through all the various spots that we did as part of the green tour which is another thing that you definitely should do if you're here for two to three days check out the red zone tours the green zone tours um and the hotter balloons these are the three things you must do we went through the itinerary and decided to do the green tour instead of the red tour and um, the hot air balloon yeah but as an experience the hot air balloon was just mind-blowing i don't have another word for it it was magical it was mind-blowing it's something you definitely should do if you're here whichever hot air balloon company you do go with all of them do hotel pickups and drops um they may ask you to be ready as early as three in the morning or as late as six like today they did our pickup at six so it really depends on what time of the year you're here for um and of course depending on the sunrise timing basis that because you want to make sure you get like that first few rays in when you um take off in the hot air balloon it's so beautiful yeah so last day in Cappadocia today we definitely had an amazing start to the day we decided not to go for the other tour today only because we wanted to really chill um, our last leg leg number five starts tomorrow which is Istanbul again we're in Istanbul for three days and it's going to be hustle bustle being on the move because Istanbul we're super active looking at things going around I also want to do a little bit of shopping on this leg um, so that's that's something that I'm really kicked about so today we're just taking it easy chilling lazing we woke up at like quarter to five in the morning to make sure we were ready in time so just gonna probably nap yeah that's what's happening i think i clued you guys in i'll see you again in a bit hi guys so we didn't just nap we slept it's around four in the afternoon so we slept for a solid two three hours and uh, we're on our way to go have re really late lunch right now at this point you know what i think i forgot to mention earlier that we also got these cute little hot air balloon certificates from them i'll insert pictures here for you to see uh, to say that oh we've gone hot air balloon riding which is so cute i'm pretty sure it doesn't hold any like actual significant value but it's just a really cute gesture and i think i forgot to mention that earlier so now you know we um need to make a quick stop at the post office so post office is over here is where you go if you want to convert currency and once we're done with that we'll go have khana mm -hmm. we'll go eat 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 you know one of the things i also love a lot about traveling is that i get to make so much organic content for you guys because i'm on holiday anyway but there is a flip side the flip side is that i'm constantly working and i guess that that part can be a little less fun because I basically haven't switched off and because I'm on holiday I'm not with work people in my team I'm with Jerry and sometimes he's like oh my god you're carrying your SLR you're carrying your gimbal like right now I'm carrying everything in this little bag that I have on me right now and um, it can be pretty heavy but we stick with it and we do it because I do it because I love it and I don't mind it to be honest but uh, yeah I'm glad I got to make all of this content from Turkey since we were coming here anyway. So in the central bazaar here you will see this really nice long huge market. You'll see caves everywhere. These caves are basically um what is the term? These caves are basically ash stones. They're not caves caves, they're slightly softer and that's also what all the hotels are made out of. Um because of the old lava that they used to have over here that is there is an inactive volcano in the area and when it last had its volcanic eruption it over a period of time caused all of these but anyway the central market you see is this really 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 pretty place um, you can see horse carts over there there's a post office that we're walking to you see these local shops you see little cafes and restaurants like this all of which are so pretty literally anything and everything you look around for is so photogenic we're at mosaic restaurant and i just ordered myself a dupe of a kumpir of sorts because 
of all the things I'm loving here, food is something I don't necessarily land up loving because um, I'm really used to my usual khana. And uh, when I see meat cooked differently, I turn into a vegetarian. So I'm practically a vegetarian on on this trip and on most international trips actually. Um, I've ordered a stuffed potato kumpir style for myself. And uh, we're waiting for our friend Mehmet, who you guys met, who is the tour guide I've mentioned to you guys earlier, the fab friend we've made in Turkey. Um, so yeah, that is what is happening. Enjoying the sun. It's so nice and beautiful and sunny outside. Cappadocia. We're about to go have our breakfast before we check out of Rocks Gurime, which is where we're staying. We've been up since 6 in the morning, walking around, just chilling, enjoying. And now we're here for breakfast. Breakfast here at Rocks is from 8.30 to 10.30, I think. It's 8.30 in the morning now. It's time to go have nashta. And uh, then it's time to check out and head to the airport to go off to leg 5. But I'm taking you along with me to Nashta because the breakfast here is really, really nice. And uh, the lady who's serving us breakfast, I think, I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, Kikishi or Kishiki, um, is really, really sweet. So she wears a chadar, so I don't know if she'll come on the vlog, but I'm going to show you guys the Nashta anyway. Okay, so this is the first spread before our eggs and custom breakfasts come. But they have a whole lot of, um, there's a whole cheese platter with some tomatoes, cucumbers as well, and varieties of cheese. And then you have jams and dry fruits and cheese and cream and olives. And there was some cake which Jerry has eaten a little bit of. He's having his Turkish coffee right now. I like the hint of branding, the Rocks Koreme, which is the hotel's name with a little hot eye balloon right there. I think it's really cute. Adds a nice touch. And our eggs should be here in time now. Yay! Oh, and of course, there's a bread basket over there. Which usually gets over between Jerry and me because in Turkey, we're full of carbs. <laughs> Way more than usual. <laughs> okay, so my egg's here. My Turkish tea is here. And I especially like this particular thing that nobody seems to know what to call it in English but I'm gonna definitely try to find it maybe in Istanbul. It's a nice spicy pickle style thing that you have along with bread. Um, okay, time to dive into my nashta now because I am really hungry. G has already torn into his eggs with chicken sausages. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube family and keep coming back for more videos. And of course, turn those bell notifications on so you get updates and notifications for all my newest videos. Off to the airport now. See you in the next one. Bye.